nothing in your education. Our experience. Outside of traditional. So, okay, now we are ready to export our amazing SVG animation not supported in IE11. Awesome. So, go to export. And you, have, you can do this several uh, ways, uh, but for this we will just use SVG uh, and we will choose Keyshape GS, it's really good. Uh, if you want to know what this does, you can go to Keyshape Help, uh, you need to do this here. And if you go to export, exporting, it explains why you should use Keyshape JS animation. Super stuff. So, boom, we do that. Keyshape JS animation, we export it, and we put it here. Kabam. Kabam kaboom. Where did it and then where did it go? It's there should be somewhere here. Yeah. So there I think this is the one. I just dropped this one into Chrome and see, uh, Safari and see what happens. Yes, here we have it so beautiful makes me weep with joy so what next yes sir now we need to do some tricky stuff here so okay cool so now we exported the svg animation from keyship and we are going to right click and open it up in a text editor i use sublime text and this is what comes out of that and now uh, this method includes using the amazing blueprint stacks from uh, Big White Duck. So I have downloaded these these ones. They are free. I just use this one. This, this is an amazing one column stack. You can do cool stuff with. Uh, and we are going to use the blueprint SVG stack, which, which makes it really simple pasting uh, SVG animations onto your Rapid Weaver pages. So you do that, and if we check this out, uh, what it says, it says important paste only code contained within and including SVG tags. Instructions here. Awesome. So that means we need to paste everything, but not this. This blah. Take it away. So these here starts the SVG tags. You just do like that until you come to the bitter end. Copy. You go in here. You double click here, and you paste it. And if it, something happens here, it works or it doesn't work. So oh my god, it works! Amazing! Amazing! So, uh, let's look at other awesome stuff you can do with the Blueprint SVG stack. Uh, I mean, you could, for example, recolor stuff. That is really funky stuff. Uh, hover states, awesome. I mean, I don't know why you should want it to be like this, but it's really neat that it works. I like this hover thing, it's really cool. So let's just make it yellow on hover. Boom! So nice. And the best thing is it's everything is vector shapes. Uh, look at this. It's so beautiful. I wanna cry. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Awesome. You can also do, I mean, um, I did this animation for 
a new upcoming thing on my product. Uh, so you can do really cool things with Keyshape. Uh, and it's really easy to import them into Bracket Weaver and get them into your website. That's all for me. Thank you for this time. Cheers. Nothing in your education, our experience.